On September 5, 2027, the Voyager 1 will have been officially traveling in space for 50 years. At this date, given its current speed of around 38,000 miles per hour, it is expected to be 176 astronomical units, or about 24 light hours away from the Sun. However, if it travels at this speed, it would take 300 years to reach the inner boundary of the Oort cloud, and 40,000 years before it reaches another star. Nevertheless, over the next billion years, where will it travel, and what will it see? Realistically, based on its trajectory and the vastness of space, the Voyager 1 is far more likely to experience structural degradation over time due to factors such as micrometeoroid impacts, cosmic radiation, and thermal cycling than to be significantly affected by the gravitational influence of a star or planet. Therefore, it's possible that Voyager 1's structure could remain recognizable for hundreds of millions to a few billion years, barring any catastrophic collisions with large objects. By this time, it will have traveled around a quintillion miles, which is only about 1.7% of the Milky Way's diameter, but it would have seen numerous stars. Given its current trajectory towards the constellation Ophiuchus, during its lifetime, the Voyager 1 could potentially pass by the constellations Hercules, Lyra, Cygnus, Draco, and Camelopardalus. The number of stars in these constellations could range from a thousand to tens of thousands. It's worth noting that over billions of years, the spacecraft's trajectory will be influenced by many factors, including gravitational encounters such as those from molecular clouds, passing stars, or even the tidal forces from the Milky Way itself. As the Milky Way rotates, its gravitational forces and those of nearby galaxies and interstellar objects will subtly alter Voyager 1's course. These changes, though small, over short timescales, can accumulate to significant deviations over eons. Furthermore, over such vast timescales, the stars themselves will have moved significantly from their current positions, and the constellations as we know them will have altered or ceased to exist in their present forms, based on new stars forming and old ones dying, ensuring that the galaxy of the distant future will be significantly different from the one we see today. Given these uncertainties, predicting Voyager 1's exact journey becomes an exercise in probabilities rather than certainties. Its interaction with the interstellar medium, including potential encounters with dust, gas, and other particles, will also play a role in its long-term trajectory and condition. The spacecraft may also pass through regions of varying densities in the galaxy, from the relatively sparse outer halo to potentially denser regions nearer the galactic core, each with its own gravitational nuances. However, Voyager 1's journey continues to embody the spirit of exploration and discovery that defines human curiosity as it travels the uncharted territories of scientific knowledge and understanding of the universe.